This week we were able to acquire Smoothie from Cloud9, which has really changed the dynamic of our team in a really big way. We also pulled up Lawrence, aka Lost, from Academy and put him onto our LCS roster. And we figured this was the best opportunity for us to bring him in under the wing of somebody like Smoothie, who would really be able to enable him and allow him a smooth transition into the LCS. Dardak in the jungle, Devontae in mid, and then lost in the bot lane alongside Smoothie at support. For the FlyQuest draft, we ended up getting three winning lanes, so that game played out pretty well. All we had to do was just make sure we kept track of numbers and we would pretty much win the game by default. I, 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 coming, Josh, coming here, coming, coming. Yeah, Kendra, 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 is dead and Echo Fox hold on to first. So most players when they come on stage they're really nervous, they're kind of hesitant and they just don't want to make the mistake that like cost their team and so Lauren showed that he was capable of flashing in, dealing big damage in the first game. I'm pretty happy with his performance on stage. Smoothie's first game against his old team. So the Cloud9 draft we had a good mid and bottom matchup and top matchup was about 50-50, but their team was top lane the last, so we ended up getting heavily pressured. But we played around it really well and got off with able to get really far ahead after the early game. And then I can't do it just yet, Blabber, maybe I have to finish it off. Instead, great flash by Hooney, slams Blabber into the wall, Dardoch back in a roam up here as well. He's looking to dive on a Licorice, but he pops oh, well, oh. the Resurrect. He's gonna come back to life, and Blabber's trying to book it, Dardoch flashing in, grabs first blood, looking for second, but can't follow after Licorice flashes. The game played out really well until about 23 minutes after we got back. Baron. Once the second Baron buff was going to be spawning, we didn't take the time to allocate which who had lane assignments and who was pushing out lanes. And so we kind of all grouped around mid lane and our macro kind of fell apart. Or so. even uh, Jensen here landing one of these shockwaves. Oh, very nice. Gets two, finds the bot lane, lost both the flash away, but sneaky to try and chase him. Does immune the ult there from Pike. Smoothie's on the front side, he's gonna die as Liquid. Managed to find the kill. Hooney, he's TPing in, but he's actually just trying to fight for his life in a 1v3. Burn the ult, make a 1v4, he flashes, but still to his death. A volley flash from Blab is gonna give him the kill. Get it done, but Cloud9 gonna do it one win at a time. Oh. Slowly but so surely. Going into this next week, we definitely heavily need to focus on that part of the game, especially since our mid laner and carry are our newest members to the LCS stage. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. Peace.